Hello. Jeff. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and listen to the recording that I made hmm, two, a month ago? A month and a half ago? Oh, about a month ago, probably. But anyway, I'm going to listen to it and give you my off-the-cuff reactions, although I've listened to it a bit a couple of times, and it just sounds bizarre. I should look into the camera. It sounds bizarre. It kind of sounds like um, there are a bunch of me talking at once. It's almost like that part in The Matrix where Agent Smith is just walking around and being all agenty and evil. But that's what it sounds like. It sounds like a bunch of me talking. And I can hear a little bit of myself in the background. But here we go. It's like, ah, 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 ah. It sounds dramatic. It kind of it sounds, a, I don't want to say aggressive a bit. It sounds slightly confrontational. I could have a better opinion or grasp a better opinion of what I'm saying. <laughs> of myself if I could, you know, hear it a little bit better. And I can also hear that I made mistakes in there because I can hear myself cursing. Awkward. I do like that after about a minute in, it seems to calm down. It's not quite so chaotic. It sounds uh, very... Intimate. That's so weird. A minute 13 in, there's just the one voice now. Oh, that sucks. By the end, it got really good. It sounded very, you know, real and, you know, personal. And the rest of it was just kind of blah, 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 blah. But I really like the end, and um, I don't really know what type of descriptions you're uh, wanting, if you're wanting, like, technical terms. Can I help you? No. I was just getting my, my thing. Okay. Well, keep it moving. Hey, fuck you, fella. You are interrupting me doing my homework. What are you doing? I am recording myself for a YouTube video to put on my channel for my it class. Smells sweaty. There's nothing in here that smells sweaty. Oh, okay. Bye. Close my door. Gladly. All right. Rude. I'm about to eat some of your cheese sticks, bitch. Watch your mouth. I hope you fall on something here. Yeah, I hope I do too so I can sue your ass. Yeah, good luck getting that money. <laughs> All right. Things are worth money. Ooh. Don't she caress my TV like a TV rapist. She likes it. You are making us uncomfortable. Oh, she's very comfortable. Oh, she likes the way I... Oh, yes. I am talking to a real person. I'm not being... Look, yeah, I like the video. Um, I liked it better at the end. It, Wait, I don't necessarily thing? think that it was... Some, I recorded myself reading uh, some prose a month ago. Are you talking to anybody right now? Nobody is actually watching. Okay. But... They will be. They will watch... Well, probably nobody except for my teacher, but whatever. <laughs> Anyway, that is my roommate. Current roommate. It I don't think it necessarily sounded like a professional recording. Like it didn't sound as professional recordings that I've heard sound a little more dramatic but at the same time dryly dramatic if that makes any sense. They um the sound of their voice is dramatic but the words that they're actually saying doesn't seem to have any personality in what I Red still sounded like me, although you know I'm me, so obviously I know what I sound like. But it, it sounded more human and you know down to earth than I would say most professional recordings are. I do like that towards the end I slowed down my rate of, of speed, and that you could understand what I was saying. And I really don't know what was going on there with that 
echo and like overdub or something. I don't know if that's something that I did wrong or whatever, but that was just kind of crazy in the beginning. But once all of that died down, like ten seconds before the end, it it was enjoyable. I wish I could have read the whole thing, and I did really like the piece, although I didn't know what to do with you know the lack of punctuation because in certain places, if I you know emphasize certain things like they were the end of the sentence, then it would completely change the meaning and I actually recorded it two or three times just to make sure that there were options and maybe I could understand it differently depending on the way that I read it and this video is almost six minutes long. Let me see if I can listen to it again without being interrupted. I know it was a choice to emphasize girl the way that I did the first couple of times. It almost sounds like a madrigal to a certain extent. I keep repeating delicate. I think this is the proper term, but the cadence is really cool. It's very flowy. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. 40 something seconds in is when it starts to clear out. It kind of reminds me of something I heard Tim Hink do for uh, Cage Fest last year. It's almost like every all this chaos is just laid to rest, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, it sounded really intimate by the end, so I like that. And I actually like the piece, too, although I'm not entirely sure what it's about. Although I'm not sure if I don't know what it's about because of not knowing what it's about or because it's been like a month since I read it. But anyway, that is my very long video. Um, of my self-analysis. Bye!